Cancer. This is a X reading. This is to see if it's likely that you and your ex will come back together, or they will come back, or you know what have you. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. It's a general reading, you guys, so it's not going to resonate for everybody. If you guys like the video, please hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and um, share it. Okay. Thank you. All right, guys. If you're interested in personal reading. Um, check out the website at pinkarianjim.com. If for some reason there's a glitch, you're more than welcome to email me as well, okay? Cancer. Cancer and their ex. Cancer. Put my eyes on. energy is the ten of coins working hard I feel like you know you're just trying to take care of your family right here you're trying to build build a legacy um, make sure everybody's okay and I feel like you're somebody that takes care of extended family as well if needed Your current position is the Four of Wands. Gain a stability, like I said. Just, just trying to get stable within yourself. You may also are at the point that in gaining financial stability, um, tangible things in life that you require, that now you're seeking to um, get in a relationship with somebody and establish something solid, okay, with someone else. And Aries, quite possibly, or you have Aries in your chart. Okay? The person that you're dealing with is the Six of Wands. This Leo energy we're thinking about here. Um, feeling very successful, feeling victorious. I think this is false victory, though. I just get that sense that this is, this is. This is them being recognized by people who, not gonna say people that don't matter, but it's like this is an attention whore, for lack of a better, better term. This is an attention whore. Yeah. They were a burden to you. They were a burden to you. What you want is not to, to have instability not to argue with somebody every day not to have to prove yourself every day not to have to compliment them 24 7 to make them feel worthy um i feel like in this card no matter what you did it wasn't good enough and you want out of that what they want is to communicate with you it's like, you know, this person, it just makes me feel like they want attention. They're probably looking at you online, too. If they haven't communicated with you, they're checking you out online. I feel like your defenses are up, though, because... You're almost expecting communication from this person, but you don't feel like it's going to be positive communication here with the Eight of Wands and the Five of Swords being there. You're on guard, I feel like. What, they, what you need is death to let this end to let this in, and just because you put an end to it, this nonsense, does not mean that it can't be transformed, but it's up to you and this person to allow the energy between the two of you to transform this situation, but as it stands right now, you know, you need to put an end to it. You need to put an end to this, this whatever this is, between the two of you, 
this negative space that you have that you guys share. What they need is the Knight of Cups. They need to be more, more attentive to you, to your needs, to others' needs in general, because I feel like this is a very selfish person. And they need to come towards you here with the Knight of Cups. They need to be a lot more attentive towards you. Because I feel like you were the one that was always pumping them up before. And that became a real burden for you because it's like, I need love too. Can you give me some confirmation of how you feel about me? You know, why is it all about you? Is there anyone else involved? I don't think so. I think you're just kind of settling into being who you are. Um, you're resting, you're meditating, you're getting your thoughts together because I get the feeling that with these two fours, you have the four of wands as your current position and the four of swords for um, is anyone else involved? I don't think so. This is a comfortable position. I think you are setting your sights on getting back out there and possibly seeking um, a relationship here, but not with this person, I don't feel. I don't feel like you've counted this person out, but I don't think you're seeking um, a relationship with this person. Is anyone else involved on their side? The Four of Coins? I don't think so. I think this person, their their heart is shut off to love. Um, true love, I feel. Now, granted, they like attention now. They like attention. Their self-esteem is is shoddy. It's not, it's not there. They need other people to like hype them up, to pump them up. Oh, you did such a great job. Oh, you look so good today. You know, it's like constant affirmation and confirmation that they need in order for them to feel like they're worthy. And, um, and that's very, that's very shallow, very shallow. Is it likely the magician? It's likely. It's likely. But the thing is, the situation needs some newness, some freshness. Um, here, look at. It needs some newness. Something needs to die so something else can be become of this. This Knight of Cups is what needs to become of this. This person showing you the attention and affection that you need, showing you that they love you, telling you that they love you, um, showing you that they appreciate you, that it's not always about them, that it's about the two of you, okay? All right, Cancer. So we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, Virgo energy, Capricorn, uh, Libra, Scorpio, and that's just the energy that's present. I don't, I don't want to confuse anybody, but when I talk about the energies, it's not necessarily those signs. They're just exhibiting those energies, or you are, depending on where you are, you know, currently, you know? All right. So I'll be speaking with you soon. Bye.